Hi, it's February 12th. I'm Mike Stanton. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update. I'm here with Dan Bingham and Chris Flossy from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. Uh, thank you for being here, gentlemen. Uh, Dan, let's start with you and talk about the markets. Another eventful week. Uh, the spread between uh, munis and treasuries continues to widen. What is driving that? Sure. And we continue to see uh, you know, more of the same with that uh, treasury market continuing to grind higher. We actually saw the long bond um, approach at 2% is it currently at a 1.99 and change. Um, I think it actually touched at 2% today. Um, you know, the implications of that, obviously, the magic 2% number um, are questionable, um, but it's uh, certainly um, resulting in higher, higher rates and higher treasury rates. Municipal market um, continues to uh, benefit from the strong inflows. 2.6 uh, billion of inflows this week as money continues to pour into the municipal market. And with that, we're seeing very little reaction and very little um, trend toward higher rates on the municipal side. And that imbalance has uh, resulted um, in ratios that continue to, to plumb and, and uh, uh, touch on record, record uh, levels in the 30-year ratio is currently at 68.8%, um, which is uh, phenomenal for uh, the long end of the market. And if you look even shorter, five-year ratios at 43%, you know, it's just a, a staggering um, ratios that uh, would, would historically have seemed, seemed impossible, um, but given the dynamic of that higher treasury and, and strong technicals on the municipal side, we're, we're touching on those kind of uh, levels. And you're still seeing um, some, uh, you know, people discussing that higher tax rates in the future could be driving some of that, although uh, we're also starting to see some uh, articles in the uh, personal finance press uh, suggesting that maybe munis are a little rich here for a, a typical investor. Yeah, and, and we touched on a little bit last week that, you know, certainly higher rates makes municipals uh, more attractive. Um, but when you look at the ratio, the five-year ratio at 43%, you'd need individual rates over 50% to to warrant any kind of approach of, of where we're seeing the market. So, you know, I mentioned last week, we could you could see the implementation of higher uh, tax rates actually result in the market adjusting even to lower um, uh, lower or, or higher yields, lower ratios, you know. On the flip side, in a lot of communities, credit fundamentals appear to be uh, strengthening, particularly this week. We saw a lot of information coming out on potential federal aid as part of the stimulus package. So uh, investors are heartened by that, I think. Yeah, so from, you know, the other part of the equation is concern over credit quality um, with any kind of stimulus, any kind of uh, flows into uh, municipalities gives uh, strength from the from the credit point of view. And we've certainly seen very, very limited to no um, concern over credit quality in the broad municipal market. The uh, insured market continues to be strong. Uh, a lot of that is uh, investors thinking about value preservation and liquidity uh, over strict uh, credit quality. But let's uh, let's transition to you, Chris, and talk about that new issue market. Uh, the other side, obviously, is supply and demand. Um, supply has been muted. Uh, what did the calendar look like this week? Sure. Um, supply has been relatively muted compared to recent months, especially we, what we're seeing in the, com in the competitive space. But we've seen some decent demand for insurance on the negotiated side. Uh, for BAM specifically last week, we priced over 26 deals for roughly 430 million a par. Uh, there were two deals to highlight from last week's activity. One was a Deltona, Florida deal for, with Raymond James, just under 100 million a par, which was a taxable deal. And there was also another taxable deal with Stiefel at Chula Vista pension, obliga pension obligation bond issuance, uh, where BAM insured roughly 76 million of a $235 million deal. Uh, there were two term bonds that came with BAM insurance, roughly $35 million each. And both of those kind of illustrative uh, in the taxable market, you have investors who are not necessarily as familiar with the uh, idiosyncrasies of muni credit. So uh, the, uh, the added value of uh, BAM's oversight, uh, transparency and surveillance is valuable to them. Um, looking ahead next week, we have a holiday shortened week. Uh, we're not going to do anything to uh, really improve the supply demand imbalance. What does the calendar look like? Uh, so next week, we have 20 deals slated to price for roughly $175 million of par. Uh, the largest deal to highlight is a $50 million Gahana Jefferson School District COP transaction in Ohio, and Key Bank will be highlighting that deal. Uh, other than that, there's a small to medium-sized issuer sprinkled throughout the calendar, and we look forward to, to more supply in the future. 
I think overall in the market uh, right now, the calendar is still less than $6 billion. So uh, uh, below the trend, uh, the pace so far this year as well, as well below last year's pace. So uh, you know, still we're hearing from uh, the public finance side that uh, supply is likely to pick up in the coming months. And so uh, we'll, uh, we'll watch that. Um, anything else to add? Have a great weekend. Okay, thanks guys. <laughs> Have a great Thanks, one. Mike. market is unpredictable, BAM gives you certainty. In the face of market volatility and illiquidity, BAM insured municipal bonds deliver default protection, value preservation, and a durable AA rating from S&P. BAM's insurance protects against everything that causes a default, and adding BAM insured municipal bonds to your portfolio is easy. Talk to your investment advisor, visit buildamerica.com, or look for BAM eligible bonds on the Perform Portfolio Management System. BAM. Build America Mutual.